Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Ellenbogen from the VCU School of Medicine from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm here at the American Heart Association meetings with my colleague, Dr. Peter Coey. Dr. Coey is the professor of medicine and pharmacology at the Jefferson Medical School and a cardiologist at the Lankanau Medical Center. Dr. Coey, I understand you're presenting a late-breaking clinical trial here on the use of fish oil and atrial fibrillation. I'm interested to hear a little bit about how you became interested in fish oil as, a pharm as an antiarrhythmic and pharmacologic agent. Well, as you know, Ken, there's, there's been a tremendous no amount of work done on fish oil in various forms of cardiovascular disease. And we thought that in atrial fibrillation, um, and, and you were very instrumental in getting this all together with us, that uh, we had have equipoise, that we had, enough, we had enough studies on both sides of the question that we really couldn't answer the fundamental question, which is, does this stuff work in atrial fibrillation? So the purpose of the study, really, as we set out, was to see if it would work in a mainstream group of patients with AF. So tell me a little bit about the size of the clinical trial, where the patients came from, what type of patients you studied. That's a very important question because these were pa mostly paroxysmal atrial fibrillation patients. We enrolled over 600 patients. Uh, they were randomized to either very large doses of prescription-grade omega-3 fatty acids or to placebo. Uh, we had a handful of patients with persistent atrial fibrillation. Most of them were paroxysmal, and it was a pretty healthy patient population. Not a lot of heart failure patients not a lot of severe coronary disease patients there, but they were pretty mainstream AF patients. What were the uh, measurements you made? How did you monitor them for AF? What were the endpoints of the trial? So the, the primary endpoint was time to first recurrence and symptomatic recurrence of AF. And so they had transtelephonic monitors. Uh, they were monitored for symptoms as well as periodically in random checks. They also had electrocardiograms during their office visits. Um, and so it was a, a real classic time to first event analysis. What were the results of the clinical trial? Well, I can say this pretty categorically. I, I think we, we had sufficient power and uh, good enough methodology to be able to say that this was a negative study. Uh, there really wasn't any statistically significant difference between the placebo arms and uh, the, the group of patients who received the fish oil. Now, there have been a number of clinical trials of fish oil and post-op AF, persistent AF. Can you sort of summarize for the listener, uh, having done this clinical trial, where you think, what questions have been answered, and are there really any more left to answer? Well, we, we, as you know, when you do a clinical trial, you really want to try to keep your results pointed in the direction of those that you studied. So this is, we think our results pertain to the mainstream of patients with atrial fibrillation. Does it pertain to post-op? No, because we didn't study that. We also didn't study a, a sicker group of patients. But uh, you've been in this field a long time. I don't know a precedent where a drug hasn't worked in a healthy group and has worked much better in a sicker group of patients for atrial fibrillation. So I, I think we have a pretty good result here. Uh, as I said, a very clear-cut result that using this drug in atrial fibrillation probably isn't uh, the most clinically beneficial thing to do. Now, let me just ask you one more detail point. Um, were you able to show any benefit, maybe in terms of slowing the ventricular response? Were you, able, were you sure the patients were taking their drug? Were there measures put in? I mean, taking a, one gram of a drug four times a day is very hard in terms of compliance. Yeah, so, so uh, very good questions. First of all, we had, by pill count, good compliance. But, but, we, but your point is very well taken. How do we know we had a biological effect? And in fact, you hit it right on the head. We did see reductions in blood pressure and heart rate. We did see very large concentrations of EPA and DHA in our, in our samples at four weeks and at 24 weeks. So we delivered the drug, uh, pretty clear about that. And um, uh, the other thing that we demonstrated I think is very important and, and would also be something that it's expected is we had amazingly good safety. Uh, we didn't really see a lot of adverse events. We certainly didn't see anything that was serious. So it was a very well tolerated drug with good compliance. And the other thing, Ken, that I think was very important about the trial is the patients stayed in so that we didn't lose a lot of patients. Uh, our, because of that, our statistical analysis of the data, I think, is, is really very reliable and very robust and, and, and I think very durable. Well, thank you very much, Peter. It's a pleasure being here with you at the American Heart Association. Congratulations on this very important clinical trial and upcoming publication. I think we, we learned something very important, and that is fish oils really are of no benefit in paroxysmal AFib, and I think that's an important message to our patients. Well, Thank you. Th thanks to you, too, for, for being such a good uh, steering committee member. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks very much.